Manger, manger is to eat in French. You already probably know that. And food is at the center of French culture. All we do is eat and talk about eating in France. But we talked about manger. What other verbs do we have in French to talk about eating? We have lots of them. This is what you will be able to do after watching this lesson. If you're a beginner, focus on knowing the verb for each meal of the day. This is good enough and it's very precise and very useful. If you're intermediate, refine your vocabulary with the verbs about eating slowly and quickly. And if you're advanced, you will be able to understand the familiar and slang verbs about eating in French. That's very fun. As usual, you can download the full written lesson on cominfrances.com. Just go to the blog and you will get the full written lesson right away in PDF format. You just have to leave your first name and email. It is completely free. Then you can take notes, share it with your friends, print it, save it for later. It's completely up to you. And do not miss out on my free crash course in everyday spoken French, especially if you're watching on YouTube. It's completely free, a 10-day mini course. You have lesson one immediately, free access on comunefrancaise.com. Bonjour, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Comme une Française. Allez, c'est parti. First, let's talk about verbs about les repas de la journée. Meals of the day, les repas de la journée. The first one is petit déjeuner. Petit déjeuner is the verb for prendre son petit déjeuner, which means to have breakfast. Petit déjeuner. Yes, you can use it as a verb, even though it's a noun in French as well. Petit déjeuner. Then at lunchtime, we use the verb déjeuner. Déjeuner. Déjeuner is for lunchtime. And as you can see, it's also the noun. We say le déjeuner. But we use the verb déjeuner. Then at 4 p.m., we have a very famous snack, which is le goûter. And again, we use exactly the same structure. We use goûter as a verb. Goûter. As you might know, and we're going to talk about this later, goûter is to taste as well, but it's also the name of the 4 p.m. snack. Then later around 8 p.m., what we do is dîner, dîner, to dine in English, dîner. Some people might also say souper, souper. Dîner and souper are regionalisms and they will depend on where you are in France, in Switzerland and Belgium as well. So some people might use déjeuner instead of dîner or souper. It will really depend on where you are. In between those official meals, sometimes you, you want to snack. And the verb we have in French for to snack is grignoter. Grignoter, which is not very positive or neutral like snack. Grignoter is not good. Grignoter. After looking at these verbs, which are very official for the meals of the day, let's look at more formal verbs in French about eating, just so we get them out of the way. Les verbes formels. Des verbes formels. For example, a very formal way to say you're having a meal is prendre ses repas, prendre un repas. Prendre ses repas is to actually have your meals. Prendre ses repas. It's not very used, but it's something that you might read, especially in official papers. Ingérer is to ingest. Ingérer. It might be something that you're not supposed to eat, especially for children, so you have to be careful. Ingérer. Consommer. Consommer is to consume something, especially food. Consommer. Absorber is another verb we have. Absorber is to absorb. It means, it can also be like uh, water in, in a sponge, for example, absorber, but it can be food as well. And again, this is more about nutrition, absorber, rather than a verb that we use every day. Se nourrir, se nourrir is to nourish yourself. It's the same as in English, se nourrir. And the last one is se sustenter. Se sustenter, I have to admit, is a word you will never, ever use very often never hear about, but it's so funny because it's so formal, so neutral, and also it's so funny in your mouth, se sustenter, that I think, I thought it was a good opportunity to show it to you today. But you don't have to remember this one. So we're going to move on to less formal verbs now. Les verbes familiers. Les verbes familiers. 
So these are words I don't necessarily recommend you use because especially the first one is a little bit vulgar in a way in certain sentences or context, but you have to know them because they're used a lot, just like lots of swearing or some slang that I teach you that I don't recommend you use, but you should know so that when you hear them, you know what the context is. So the first one is the most famous is bouffer. Bouffer is slang for eating, manger, bouffer. We also say la bouffe in French, la bouffe for food, but again, it's a bit pejorative and it can not be very well received. Another fun one we have, which is way less vulgar than bouffer, is becté. Becté, it comes from the bec of the bird, for example. The bec, le bec. So becté is to eat as well. It's slang that you will hear in uh, the movies by Odiach, which were written by him, where he uses this kind of very, very um, flurry slang. So becté is kind of old-fashioned slang, but you might hear it. It's a pretty one, becté. Gobe means to eat in one go, gobe. Gobe is another kind of French slang word to talk about eating, but it's more a very fast in one go kind of word, gobe. And at last, we have my favorite one because I learned it only recently, it's bouloté. Bouloté means to eat entirely without thinking too much about it, I think. Bouloté. So out of these four words, I would say that bouloté is common, not vulgar, and can be used a lot and will make French people smile. Bouffé might be a bit vulgar, but I recommend you know it because it will be used a lot. Becté is pretty fun and gobe is so precise that it's, it's absolutely not vulgar in any way, it's just slang and it means eating in one go. Gobe. Now let's cover some verbs about eating slowly, which is so French. Eating slowly, manger lentement. Manger lentement. The first one is déguster. Déguster is to taste. Déguster. As in just like really enjoying something, tasting bite by bite and uh, really making the most out of the food. Déguster. We say une dégustation for a tasting. Une dégustation. Goûter is just to taste a little bit of it to see if it works or if, if it has a good taste. Goûter. Goûter and déguster are different. Déguster is really enjoying food very slowly to enjoy the taste. Goûter is just to check if something is okay. Goûter. Savourer is a bit like déguster. Savourer, it's again to really enjoy the taste of something, to keep it in your mouth and to really um, get the smell and the taste on your tongue, etc. It's really savourer. It's, it's a bit like déguster, but it's more like bite by bite, savourer. And the last one is picoré. Picoré means to, um, to do like a bird, you know, like to eat just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, not really enjoying a full meal. Picoré. It's something you say when someone is not eating too much. Picoré. And it applies to birds as well. So it makes a very cute verb. Picoré. Picoré. And at last, let's see a few verbs for manger vite, to eat quickly. Manger vite, or manger rapidement. The first one is dévorer. Dévorer is eating like a wolf, we could say, like eating a lot and quickly. Dévorer, to devour, maybe in English. Dévorer, to eat a lot and quickly like a wolf. Dévorer. We have avaler then, avaler. Avaler is to swallow. It doesn't necessarily mean to eat a lot and quickly. But we usually use it to say avaler un sandwich, as in to eat a sandwich very quickly. Avaler. Avaler, it means to swallow. It applies to uh, anything that is actually anatomically swallowed. But usually when you talk about food, it means eating quickly and um, without really enjoying the food. One that is a bit formal is ingurgiter. Ingurgiter, again, is a bit like ce sustenter, ce funny one. Because it's a bit formal, but it's very funny to say. Ingurgiter. Ingurgiter means literally to eat quickly. Ingurgiter. It can mean technically just eating something, absorbing something, but very often when you say it, it's about eating quickly, unless it's for medical reasons, and then it's just eating something. Ingurgiter. Then another one that is, uh, it has this context, the pejorative context, is s'empiffrer. 
s'empiffrer means to eat a lot of things that are not good for your health without thinking, without enjoying it. S'empiffrer, for example, of sweets, of fast food, of things that are not good for you, that are not in any way of any good quality, but spoil your appetite later as well. It has all this context. S'empiffrer. It's a bit like grignoter. It's not a good verb to use. Um, but if it's the situation, you have to say it. S'empiffrer. S'empiffrer. Let's try it now with a quiz. How would you say to devour? To eat very, very quickly. How would you say to taste something? Just like to check if it's okay. To taste something. It also means the 4 p.m. snack. How would you say to have breakfast in French? How would you say to have breakfast in French? The same verb as the noun, remember? So the first one is dévorer, to eat quickly, like a wolf. Dévorer. Then to taste something, and it's also the name of the 4 p.m. snack, is goûter. Goûter, it means to taste a little bit to check it's okay and to have your 4 p.m. snack. Goûter. And at last, to have breakfast is petit déjeuner. It's exactly like the noun, le petit déjeuner. But we say petit déjeuner as a verb. Et toi, tell me in French in the comments on commonfrances.com and in French if you dare. What is your favorite new verb about eating in French? What's your favorite new verb about eating in French? For example, you can say J'aime beaucoup picorer parce que c'est ce que font les oiseaux et mon petit-fils. J'aime beaucoup picorer parce que c'est ce que font les oiseaux et mon petit-fils. I love picorer because this is what the birds do and my grandson as well. If you learn a new verb about eating today, please share this lesson with a francophile friend. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can put a thumb up. If you can, that would be very nice. You can also subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any lesson. You can share this on Facebook, on Twitter, by email, by just telling your friends about it. And even better, you can tell your French class about this lesson. Maybe they want to know about these verbs as well. If you want more spoken French, don't miss out on my 10-day everyday French crash course. It's available on comeinfrances.com. You just have to leave your first name and email and you will get lesson one immediately. It's completely free. It's 10 days. It's by email. You can unsubscribe anytime if you don't like it, but students seem to like it very much. I wish you une bonne journée, a good day, une bonne après-midi if it's the afternoon, maybe une bonne nuit if you're going to bed, and I will see you next time. Allez, salut!